as you can see, I've got it up. I've um, I mix the glue up. I'll show you what I've got. It is A505 from Apollo Chemicals, which is uh, purchase 92013. This one, it's just for the caravan. Um, part A, which is a polyurethane glue, as is the two pack activator here. Um, it's loads in there. Um, yes, that's what I've used. Uh, cut the board to size, made sure the roof was clean, and then um, stick on. Uh, I'll show you what I've done. There you can see that up there. It's all stuck on. It's oozing out a little bit there. Um, I could have done with a bit more, really. But what I, pop I might end up doing is uh, putting some screws through like this, and then just putting a putting a dab of mastic on the roof to stop the water coming through but um, it'll do for now um, give it 48 hours to dry and uh, it should be alright with any luck and then uh, what I'll probably do is just go go around the edge with a bit of fiberglass because I've got to do this anyway here because this is all um, it's all come adrift here and over this bit see it there it's all cracked so uh, no strength at all in that now yeah so that's the next job yeah <laughs> as you can see I've got it um I've got a bit of wood in I cut it all and glued it yesterday but, um you can see that the um the glue's still soft can you see that if you can see it's um the glue's not tacky why well, sort of but um it's not hard the glue hasn't gone hard and it says on the tub um overnight now I'm, I'm i've mixed it up before so i know i used the right amounts and i spent quite a lot of time mixing it as well because it was quite nice and runny and um yeah I'm a bit concerned because uh, I'll give it, I think what I'm going to have to do is give it another 24 hours, which is a bit of a bummer to be honest because um, I wanted to get on with it because because we're now into, are we in October? We're now into October and um, the weather's going to drop and as soon as the weather goes I, I can't do nothing and the thing is I need to get this done to stop the water getting in because th there is a couple of tiny little cracks I mean you can see there's a little hole there and these windows leak as well as you can see they're all loose look so that needs doing this one isn't too bad because it's been siliconed on the outside but there's a blinking great screw through there look um, there's been repairs done to it already up here there's holes holes put in the roof for some reason I think I had some sort of screws up there for something. Oh, I have no idea. Um, same with this. There's grab handles on the outside. No idea what they're for, but they're coming off. So there's some more holes that need fiberglassing. So I need to get on with it because it's no point doing anything in here if um, if the water's still coming in. <laughs> if the water's coming in the roof, I'm wasting my time. So I've got to start with the roof. Start at the top and work my way down. Um, so yeah, don't know about that one. Um, I've cut these side pieces. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last one. I've cut these. Um, let me put it down there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've cut these both sides. Uh, now I was going to bond them on with this um, the Apollo, the polyurethane. But, uh, I'm having second thoughts now. <laughs> Now the fact this hasn't gone off yet, it's, uh, it's making me think twice. So, um, I've decided, I went on some boat forums um, on the internet and uh, I've decided I'm going to bond these to the side with the epoxy. Um, epoxy resin is the same as you do your fibreglass. It's epoxy resin with um, strands in it, 
So what I'm going to do with these is um, put a bit of matting on the back. I mean, I did order a tub. I tub. I, t I ordered a tub of um, like P40, which is fiberglass resin with um, with fibres in it, and that would have done as a glue because I could have just spread it on, spread some over, and <laughs> literally just stuck it straight on the side, which is what I wanted to do, but it hasn't arrived yet. So, um, but it's holding me up because I want to get this one in first. If you guys can see, actually, you should be able to see that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I want to uh, glue this one first and then I can start putting my other pieces to it. Because my idea <coughs> my idea is I'm gonna put I want to put a frame around the window. So I'll have a piece in there, piece along the top there, so like that, one piece there, and one piece there, and then I can fix my cupboards to that, you see? And then any the gaps in between will be filled with insulation. I mean, it's only going to be half inch thick, but um, that's all I want. But at the end of the day, it's um, as long as you've got insulation in there, it should be fine because it's more than what was there before. And if worse come to the worst and it's cold, what will I do? I'll take, I'll cut some more battens, double it all up, so double the thickness of space, and um, I'll put in more insulation. So it doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, I'm going to get on and cut some more bits of timber, so um, that's an update from this one. Have a nice day.